Good morning, everybody. As you can probably tell from my raucous hairstyle, I've uh, I've just woken up. Don't even know what the weather's like today. What's gonna be like? Three, two, one. Let's find out. Oh! I can't even see from my hairs in my face. Overcast, gloomy. Potential potential showers. I'd say about 75% potential showers today. Not, not the best, but you know. Uh, anyway, let's sort my barnet out. Jesus. I am wearing a AC Milan football kit this morning. I don't know why. I got given it by the director of the film that me and Casper did uh, last week called Joe and Casper Hit the Road. Uh, if you don't know about that, then you should know about it. I'll put it in the description below. Um, but it says my name on the back, but I just can't show you because of obviously I'm holding a camera. There you go, do you see it? Can you see it? Do you see it? That is, I, I can't see if you can see it or not. Uh, there, it should be there. I don't know. Anyways, my name and number on the back, number eight, that's my lucky number, because it's my birthday, which means, oh my god, wait. My calendar here still says July, there's a random coat hanging on it. What the bloody hell are you doing here? Get back from whence you came, go on. Get out of it. Um, it says July on here, that's completely wrong. And August is wrong as well. So many months that this calendar that my sister and Alfie got for Christmas, I I've keep forgetting that I have it. I keep forgetting to update it. I haven't even put my birthday on there. But basically, it's my birthday here, the 8th of September, which is the Tuesday. I've got this candle. It's not anything special. Bought from Tesco's, right? And it just gets rid of bad smells. I'll tell you why I have this candle later on in the vlog. Uh, I'll go through the story and explain it. Also, I really messed up yesterday. I had a letter come through. Um, and I didn't, I just saw, because I get a lot of letters coming through nowadays, and I didn't know who it was from, so I opened it up. I've only gone and opened my birthday card from a nan early, haven't I? I'm so annoyed. Sorry, nan. Luckily, she doesn't really watch my videos unless my dad shows them to her. So, uh, dad, if you're watching this, don't show them to nan, because I'll only get in trouble. So what's happening today, Joe? Well, I'll tell you. Well, my best mate, Lewis, is coming around. He's on his way. He should be here any second now. Uh, and then we're off to go and watch the rugby. England versus Ireland. Now, if you're thinking of getting into rugby, then I strongly encourage you all give it a go. But when I was 12, I started playing rugby, and it's now become one of my favourite sports. Um, and I was never the biggest kid growing up. In fact, I was the smallest and the weakest out of all the kids that played rugby. But that didn't stop me, because my rugby club, Caution RFC, were really, really welcoming to people with all different abilities. And you'll be surprised at how much fun you can have and how quickly you can actually improve. So I recommend you definitely give it a go, and make sure you let me know how you get on. So I'm wearing the completely wrong shirt. I need to change that and get into my England shirt. I have no idea. There it is. What the hell was that? Oh, it was uh, July and August, just fell down. Here we are, I'll get this one. Uh, England actually gave this shirt to me last time I was there watching a the game, because it has, on the back, it has SUG10. I think, I think it's got to the point now where I've decided that I'm now collecting any sports shirt with my name on the back. <laughs> I, seem to have, I seem to have a growing collection. I've also got, where is it? Let me see if I can find it. I just have so many rugby and football shirts now. Do you ever get to that point where, oh, here we go, there's another England top there. So I have two England tops. This is the one they gave me beforehand. Uh, but now they give me one with my name on the back. But yeah, go England. Come on, you can do it, guys. I, do, I, do you ever do this thing where you oh, I keep all my t-shirts up here in this top drawer, but I can never keep them folded? Because I'm always in a hurry. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Oh. What did I do with my bath shirt? Oh, someone's calling me. Oh, it's Lewis. Hello? Alright. Have I got any bread? Alright, cheers. Bye. Have I got any bread? I think we we probably should do though. Yeah, we need bread. Oh, is that it? It's a bit of blue. Oh, there it is, I found it. Yes. Right, so I also got given this shirt, which is <laughs> once again has my name on it. And it's bought the new the brand new 2015, 2016, 150 year anniversary Bath rugby shirt. As you know. Bath is my uh, nearest rugby team, proper rugby team. And on the back, they asked me, they said, What's, what number and um, name do you want on the back? So I chose 15, and I went for Sug. But look! It says Thatcher's Sug. If I knew, because obviously Thatcher's is the cider company, if I knew they were sponsored by Thatcher's, I would have got Thatcher's Joe, because it would have almost said Thatcher Joe on the back. I got given this for Christmas uh, last year. Well, the Christmas was gone. And I never got around to watching it until last night. And, oh, this is like... This guy right here, Lee Evans, is one of my like inspirations um, when it comes to like trying to make you guys laugh. I always want to, I always want to be, I've always wanted to be like Lee Evans. I just think he's hilarious. Like the way he like makes weird faces and like puts on these different voices. And oh, he's here. He's here. I think he's here. <laughs> ah! Stop my toe. All right, me old boy. <laughs> so, uh, ready? Right. Dressed for the game? What are you doing? Right, how do I do this then? Lewis is here, and the first thing he said he wanted to do was go on my 
What's it called? Put Segway motorboard thing. Right, hang on, let me get some space. I'm not gonna teach you how to do it, you just gotta do it. Ready? Just stand up. You just gotta stand, jump on it, yeah. One phone, the other phone. Trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get your foot on the back. <laughs> right. So, your segue, it will go wherever you wanna go. If you think about coming over here, it'll go over here. Oh! That is so weird. I'm surprised you, you've got used to it so quickly. Oh. Bloody hell. He's a natural. Bloody hell. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> what I'm doing is do, doing like stunts. Come on, man. Like jackass, but like on hold this. I just do stunts. Like I'm gonna come. I haven't got my helmet on, so my mum said not to do it about my helmet. So mum for watching. Okay. okay. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> I'm going to be downstairs on it. <laughs> <laughs> so we are on our way now to the game. Um, we're about 11 minutes away, but it kicks off in and out in about 40 45 minutes. 45 minutes. We haven't got our tickets yet. Uh, but apparently Marcus is here as well, so hopefully we're going to keep an eye out for Marcus. Excited. What's your prediction for the score, Jones? <sighs> it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be close. How are you looking at those screen or this bit? Screen. Yeah, same. <laughs> Look at all the people. Checking whether it was a try or not. I saw it. I know 100% it was a try. 100%. Ready? 100%. Try. Try. I'm never wrong. So prediction. It's a try. Here we go. Here we go. What? Are you serious? What? Come to carry me So there we go. The match is over. England won, which is amazing. Uh, and it's made me so excited for the World Cup, which is happening on the 18th of September as well, which is this month. And uh, It's the first time since I've been alive that the World Cup's been in England, as far as I'm aware. And I'm so, so excited to watch it. I'm kind of like... And also, you may have noticed I've been going to the rugby a lot recently. And so the other day, when I went to go and watch England play France, um, I got invited to do up this thing called a huddle selfie with a lot of the England players, which I'll be posting on my Instagram very, very soon, so you'll see that. Um, and then I got asked if I could ask you lot at home to also upload your own huddle selfies. So you'll see mine on Instagram, um, and I want you to do one for yourself. So if you take your camera, put it sort of down low, and gather all your friends around in a circle, and then take a picture going upwards, if you know what I mean, you'll see my Instagram. Uh, I'll put it in, I'll put, actually I'll put it in the vlog right here. So there's a competition where you can post your own huddle selfies and you can win a chance to watch an England game, which trust me, I've been to a few now and they're amazing. You can upload your huddle selfies to Twitter or Instagram, but make sure you use the at England Rugby and also make sure you use the hashtag huddle selfie because that then makes it easier to find your selfies and then make your potential winner. And then you're off to an England game! All the information and T's and C's will be in the description below. Now a lot of you are probably thinking, but Joe, I'm way too small to be a rugby player. But I gave it a go and I met most of my best mates through playing rugby and they're still my best mates to this day. So for me, it was one of the best things I ever did in my life. So check out finerugby.com, I'll leave a link in the description. So go and click it and see how you can get involved.
Right, I'm going to head off now because all my mates are waiting for me upstairs, but I will see you very soon with another vlog. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Um, remember, I'm not a daily vlogger, alright? Remember that, I'm not, okay? Bye.